Beach 57th Street and Rockaway Beach Boulevard is a large housing project called Ocean Village. And um, Occupy, Occupy Sandy Relief is basically running the entire relief effort for that whole neighborhood. Um, we have a community center. We have, we're supplying everything there. We're trying to set up appropriate medical relief. Do uh, we gave Doctors Without Borders um, a site but they're very limited in what they can handle, so we're trying to get another site, So, because we have a lot of medical folks and mental health experts that are coming in and wanting to help out, but we need good locations for them, clean, quiet, indoor locations. Um, we're also partnershiping with the Rockaway Youth Task Force, and there are a bunch of teenage kids that are just awesome. And together um, with Occupy, we've, we've canvassed thousands of apartments in that area, in, this, in the, the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. We've knocked on thousands of doors and we're trying to get these lists together so and, and pass them on to medical folks that uh, people who need medical help need prescriptions need insulin stuff like that um, but we've been delivering boxes over the weekend we delivered I would say maybe a 1500 boxes of, of relief uh, material uh, so it's a combination of food and, and clothing and blankets and stuff like that to individual apartments people that could not necessarily get out. these are people these are elderly and disabled folks who can't get out to the distribution sites so we have distribution sites throughout the Rockaways where people can come and they can either choose what they want and they just take whatever they want and then come back and get more. Or um, at Ocean Village, what we're doing now is we have an indoor spot. You come up to the door and you say what you need and we and, and, and volunteers go get it and they give you it. The people out here in the Rockaways are endlessly impressing me. It's cheesily enough, it's renewed my faith in humanity. I, I can't believe that these folks out here. You, you bring a bunch of free items to a lot of places in this country. I, I just assume people will be selfish and they'll grab and they'll take as much as they want. And, and people out here have nothing and they're seeing horrific things happen. They're still pulling bodies out of these houses around here. Are, are taking just what they need, almost always. And they need a lot. And they need more than just food. They need more than just clothing. They need, they really need something to do. They need, they need hope. So right now I'm trying to talk to folks. I'm like, hey, also send some basketballs. Also send some bubble wands. I, I bought every single bubble wand in a 99 cent store yesterday and gave them out to kids. And the kids were like, hey, the kids that saw me doing that were like, give, give them to me. And then I ran out, you know, and it, that's hard. You know, I haven't traveled in third world countries myself, but that's what people say it's like. So it's, it's kind of like that in the Rockaways right now. Um, I, I have some flashlights, I give them to some folks, and then there's just like a crowd of folks. The sun's going down. This happened every night in the Rockaways. The sun goes down, there's little kids and old folks and all kinds of folks who are just like, please, you have a flashlight, do a flashlight. And I, and I hand out all my flashlights, and and I always carry them with me. I like pack all my pockets full of flashlights. And then I'm out, and then people are like, I'm in the dark, please. And I'm like, I don't have anything else. So it's, and that's hard, you know, for them. It's harder for them than it is for me. Um, so there's, there's just endless need out here right now. And being able to figure out how we can help the people that need the help most as quick as possible and um, is really important. Leaders are stepping up. People that didn't know they were community organizers until yesterday, a few days ago or today, are stepping up in these communities. Ocean Village, the district site now, the Occupy site, is basically run by this woman, Bree, who's from the buildings there. She's awesome. She's, she knows she knows who's taking too much. She knows who's not speaking up enough. She knows, you know, who needs help the most. So there's no favoritism. Um, she's trying hard as she can, and she's doing an amazing job. She's so badass. Um, I, I love meeting these folks. And then Jose, who lives there, um, he's full time. He's full time. He's, he's he he said he predicted this. He summoned this. He summoned Occupy to him. That that he knew it would happen. He wanted to go to Scotty Park last year, and he couldn't make it. He's a family, and he he was too busy with his kids. And now, and we came to him. We're in his building. And he's just like, I'm Occupy Far Rock Away. This is this is what I'm doing now. Let me take let's take over some buildings. Let's do this. Let's 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 change everything. So it's awesome.